Hey y'all, it is I, McDooleys, and I'm back. Back just in time for YouTube to come up with more stringent rules. Now you can't show graphic video games on YouTube. And, well, as, as before, you can't cuss within the first 10 seconds. Has it been 10 seconds yet? Fuck! Fuck asshole! So, <laughs> well don't fuck asshole, that, that, that's painful. In any event, uh, I got with my cousin Jay Dooley's Yes, there's more than one Dooley's. Uh, Jay Dooley's likes to collect uh, Star Wars stuff and other things, but Star Wars stuff. Let's, uh, he likes video games as well. And so that's our connection, and I also love Star Wars. The Mandalorian is probably the best TV show I've ever seen. Uh, I even like the book of Boba Fett, even though you all hate it. But let's get on with the fucking video. God fucking damn it. Fuck you, YouTube. We're going to cuss on this goddamn channel. So in this video we'll be including uh, not only some Star Wars toys, but we did make it down to a pretty cool place that sells toys called Big Redhead Vintage Toys in Tampa. And it's pretty fucking cool. It's not that big though, <laughs> but the guy that runs the store is a big redhead. So I suppose that's why they call the fucking store Big Redhead. Anyways, uh, we got down there we saw a bunch of cool shit and I wanted to show you guys. So there's going to be a mix on this video uh, while I speak of some uh, cool toys. And also some Star Wars toys uh, from Jay's collection. One of those toys is uh, very expensive and I really, really like it and he'll never sell it. Uh, so if you can't tell the difference between a, a, a toy that's Star Wars and a toy that's not Star Wars, let me know. I'll come over to your house and I'll hit you head in the head with the hammer. Maybe that'll give you a good hard reset uh, so you can get your brain moving again. Get the blood flowing in your skull. Kenner's original line was between 1978 and 1985. They began making new figures in 1995, and that's the second run. You know, first, second, dumb fuck. Ken the toys were so popular that George Lucas used the money he made to fund the next two movies. Thank God for the toys because the next two movies were the bomb diggity, and you fucking know that. Return of the Jedi and especially The Empire Strikes Back are the best Star Wars movies, and they're always going to be the best Star Wars movies. The demand was so high for these toys that Kenner was forced to sell something called the Early Bird Certificate Package. It came with Luke, Leia, R2-D2, and Chewbacca. Eventually the toys, of course, hit stores. I mean, it's gonna have to happen fucking eventually. And when they got there, they made eight more figures, and the new figures were Darth Vader, Han Solo, which should have been during the first run, C-3PO, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Death Squad Commander, the Sand People, the Jawa, and of course, the one that everybody bought like fucking multiples of was Stormtrooper because if you're going to play with toys like I used to do when I was a kid, and I'm not going to lie, I did until I was even in high school, unfortunately, you're going to need lots of Stormtroopers. In 1978, vehicles and play sets hit the market. I mean, thank God because uh, you know that the vehicles and the play sets, I mean, that shit was the bomb. You got the toys and you're like, you know, you're making your own little shit out of you know, I get stuff from my mom's kitchen and, you know, my dad's room and fucking, you know, what the fuck are you doing with all that stuff? I'm making my own playset because they don't sell playsets because Kenner, Kenner can't come up with these goddamn toys fast enough. And George Lucas actually was scared of his ideas being stolen and so he didn't want to give them Kenner uh, details on the dimensions of like, you know, like certain things like, you know, playsets and like, you know, this, this buildings this size and he didn't want to give the dimensions out because he didn't want the ideas to be stolen. I guess back in those days uh, intellectual properties were the wild wild west but uh, not so much anymore. You do that shit now and uh, the Nintendo ninjas are going to come chop your head off. In 1978 Kenner was actually accused of manipulating the market by only releasing so many of these toys but they just couldn't deal with the, the high demand. I mean they made I think a hundred million dollars I mean, could you imagine selling a hundred million dollars worth of toys and you're just a, a small company? They couldn't hire people fast enough to make the fucking toys, and so it's, it's bull. I mean, they just they just didn't have the resources to, to pump these things out, and when Christmas came, they were, they were caught with their pants down. Kenner's very first mail-in promotion was actually Boba Fett. Everybody fucking loves Boba Fett, and guess what? Jay Dooley's loves Boba Fett. And he has a graded figure of Boba Fett worth approximately $8,000. He could probably get $7,500 for it in seconds. <laughs> but he will never sell that fucking thing. He loves it. And I gotta admit, I love it too. And let me just preface, he did not pay anywhere near $8,000 for it. Good for him. Yeah. 
Good, good job, guy. The year following the return of the Jedi movie, Kenner had 79 unique characters and two discontinued ones. I mean, they just, they had to do a lot of damn work, guys. Uh, and that's why people thought they were, this was a small company, keep in mind. But 79 unique characters, that's a lot. And that's not including play sets and all this other shit, these vehicles. And, I mean, they were putting the work in. In 1985, the figure range was renamed the Power of the Force. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that more often than uh, the original, original line. And 15 figures were added. Two more lines were also added. They were Star Wars droids and Star Wars Ewoks, which you'll see a little bit less than that, actually. In mid-1985, sales slowed and Kenner, unfortunately, discontinued its original line. The new line came a whopping 10 years later. You're going to want to look out for some bootlegs because there's a lot of bootlegs out there. Some people like to collect for them because they're cheap or they're different. But there's actually a manufacturer in Uze, Turkey. I don't know how to pronounce Uze. But they made some cool ones with psychedelic card backs and the figures like had unconventional colors. And they're sought after by collectors, and some of them are worth just as much as the original line. So keep a lookout for that, because, I mean, psychedelic colors, man, you know, get you a doobie and, and a beer and check it out, baby. Now, due to YouTube's new rules, I'd like to apologize. This is not a children's channel. But if you're a kid and you're watching this right now, you're fucking awesome. Don't tell your parents. <laughs> but, like, man, so, like, Kenner, the original... And you can get these figures graded. Uh, the story we went to, they no longer grade figures because uh, the grading has gotten out of control, especially with video games. So no one wants to fucking do it anymore because the credibility is constantly in question. But, uh, you know, there's, there's some good ones out there, some good guys out there that have the license. And make sure they have a license to do this shit now, okay? Don't just go to some guy and have him stick an a, a, B, or C on a fucking box with a figure in it for you. And be wary. Uh, these figures, I mean, they're fucking cool. Everybody loves Star Wars. Keep an eye out for Season 2 of The Mandalorian. And McDewey's is getting the fuck out of here. Because I'm going to watch some goddamn postseason football, baby.